I feel like this isn't the exact same picture as before. Also, what's with the weird, like... Is it supposed to be like dust particles? That's cool. But as a result, her left arm is practically less resting on top of my leg. Well, in that case, Yuri is already totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it in my mouth. Then I take another chocolate... No, I'm pretty sure this is the same one. I'm just trying to imagine things differently because it's just the way the game is making me think. Hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips as if the situation was completely natural. But that means I can't stop here. I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Eh. Her expression suddenly breaks. Did. Did I just... Looks at me if she looks at me as if she needs to confirm what just happened. Um. Sorry. I guess I shouldn't have done that. The music just totally stopped this time. She starts to breathe heavily. Deadly chocolate allergy. Ooh. All right. This is definitely different. Forcibly grabs my arm and jerks me to my feet. My teacup gets knocked over. My heart won't stop pounding. This is definitely different. I can't calm down. I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it? Ooh. Uh, suddenly presses my hand against her chest. Hey, why is this happening? I feel like I'm losing my mind. Losing our minds, losing our minds, losing our minds. I can't make it stop. Makes me not want to read. I just want to look at you. <laughs> the left eyeball is something fierce on this girl, let me tell you. <laughs> oh. You know what would be would have been it would be a really weird um it's time to share poems. Thank you, Monica. <laughs> that was interesting. Okay. Uh we'll go with Natsuki first. Hmm. Well it's not really any worse than your last one, but I can't really say it's any better either. Whew. At least it's consistent, right? Ah, oh, well, anything that isn't a train wreck, I'll take as a win. I get the feeling you're probably the most critical. Hey, what makes you... Wait, maybe that was a compliment. Ah, I'm glad someone recognizes my experience. <laughs> Keep practicing and maybe you'll be as good as me one day. That's a... Something tells me she missed the point. But make sure you find a little bit of influence from everyone. I think you're at least being influenced by Yuri a little bit, aren't you? I mean, I know you've been, like, spending some time with her or whatever. But you know, Monica and I are just as good as her. At poems, I mean. You should really try to learn something, or you'll never get better. Here's the one I wrote. I'll, I'll make sure you learn something from it. Oh, hey, if we didn't get to read the second one before with her. You know what I heard about Amy? Amy likes spiders. Icky, wriggly, hairy, ugly spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a cute singing voice. I heard her singing my favorite love song. Every time she sang the chorus, my heart would pound to the rhythm of the words. But she likes spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. One time I hurt my leg really bad. Amy helped me and took me to the nurse. I tried not to let her touch touch me. I don't know what I tried to say a second ago instead of touch, but she likes spiders, so her hands are probably gross. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a lot of friends. I always see her talking to people. 
She probably talks about spiders. What if her friends start to like spiders too? That's why I'm not friends with her. It doesn't matter if she has other hobbies. It doesn't matter if she keeps it private. It doesn't matter if she doesn't hurt anyone. It's gross. She's gross. The world is better off without spider lovers, and I'm gonna tell everyone. Is this a self- Okay, are you supposed to be Amy, and is the narrator- and are spiders supposed to be manga in this- Whatever. Not bad. No, that was interesting. It's longer than yesterday's. Yesterday's was way too short. I was just warming up. I hope you didn't think that was the best I could do. No, of course not. Anyway, the message is pretty fr straightforward in this poem. I don't- I doubt I have to explain it. Like anyone would agree that the subject, anyone, like anyone would agree that the subject of this poem is an ignorant jerk. Everyone has some kind of hobby or weird guilty pleasure, something that you're afraid of, and yeah, it's because she likes manga and people make fun of her for it. Oh man, my net, my internet's are dropping, but that just makes people stupid. Who cares if someone likes? something, or who cares what someone likes as long as they're not hurting anyone and it makes them happy. I think people really need to learn respect for people liking weird things. Such as two of the girls in this very club who I'm, who might <laughs> Okay. Well, you see, it doesn't work when that is, uh, there's only two people to choose from, since there's three female members, and you being one of them. And you are talking about the other two. Kind of ironic that I, that even in my one place of comfort, I can't even have people respect me. Jeez, now you're making me complain too much. What did I do? For what it's worth, I respect you. Well. Thanks, I guess. But it's kind of obvious that you respect Yuri more, so... Whatever, we're done sharing so you can leave now. So she doesn't completely hate me in this version of the events. Who should I share my poem with next? I think you saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. Are you talking about the cutting? You are definitely the reason for all of this. You think I saw something that I wasn't supposed to see? I'm, I think you're referring to the cutting yourself thing rather than the weird stare down that Yuri gave me, but you would have actually been in the room for that one. I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. I don't know why, but she seems pretty easily excitable when she's around you. Which shouldn't be a problem in and of itself. <clears throat> there we go. When she gets too excited, she finds a place to... <sighs> Jeez. How do you just know that, though? Isn't that kind of messed up? She even brings a different one to school every day, like she has a collection or something. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. I think she just gets some kind of high from it. Oh boy. But the point is, you've been kind of enabling- What? I'm not saying it's your fault, though. But I guess that's why I had to explain it all to you. So if you keep your distance, that would probably be the best for her. While you're at it, don't be... I don't know how to do that. <laughs> also, I'm pretty sure this is somehow because of you. To put it lightly, I have at least... I at least have it together in the head, and I know how to treat my club members. But anyway, if you want to read my poem now? I liked this way, the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Save me. Alright, so the words are the same, but the way that it was written is different, so this is cool. Oh, that word was cacophony. Okay, or however you pronounce it. Sine, cosine, tangent. Delete her? That's a different message. I thought I was moving the word when I did that, actually. It was just scrolling, though.
Oh. All right. I'm just trying to, um, well, never mind. Is this subliminal messaging? Anyway. Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes if facing a difficult decision, don't forget to save your game. You never know um, when. Who am I talking to? Yeah, I can hear you. I, I see you. I hear you. I'm at a loss for words. But I know your game. Tell me you can hear me. Yes, anything. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Huh. Maybe I should have waited to push the button. Too late now, though. I've been waiting for this. Let's see what you've written for today. Surprised expression. Do you like it? This one might even be better than yesterday's. How did you pick up on this so quickly? Excuse me. Techniques worth practicing. Maybe that's why. You did a good job of explaining. I really wanted to try to give, try to give it more imagery. Visibly swallows. Her hands appear sweaty. Ah, that makes me so happy. It's amazing to feel like I'm valued. Everything that you write is a treasure to me. She didn't say that the first time. My heart just pounds. My heart pounds just holding it. Oh no. I want to write a poem about this feeling. Is that... Well, I think most poems are supposed to be about feelings. I'm not being weird, right? I'm having a hard t harder time than usual concealing my emotions. I'm kind of embarrassed. Right now, I just want you to read my poem, too. Oh, this is different. It's like a block of words, though, and a bunch of scripty. All right. Let's see. A rotating wheel, turning on an axle. Or turning an axle, grinding. I can't. A linear gearbox, falling sky. Seven holy stakes. A docked, a docked ship. Portal to another world, a thin rope tied to a thick rope. A town harvest? I think that's what that says. Parabolic gearbox, expanding universe, time controlled by slipping cogwheels. Existence of God, swimming with an open water in all directions. Drowning, a prayer written in blood. Interesting. A prayer written in blood. Time devouring snakes with human eyes. Okay. A thread connecting all living human eyes. God, her and her eye thing, huh? A kaleido kaleidoscope of holy snakes? Exponential gearbox. Oh, this is interesting. The way that it keeps going up. Linear, uh, parabolic, exponential. That's cool. A sky of exploding stars, God disapproving of the existence of God. Disproving the existence of God. Interesting. A wheel rotating in six dimensions, 40 years and a ticking clock. A clock that ticks one second for every rotation of a planet. A clock that ticks 40 times every time it ticks a second, every second time. A holy stakes tied to the existence of a docked ship. A kaleidoscope of blood written in clocks. <laughs> a time devouring prayer connecting a sky of 40 years. <laughs> okay. Breathing time, breathing prayer, breathing wheel, breathing sky. I read that out of order. Ha ha ha. It doesn't really matter what it's about. My mind has been a little hyperactive, so I had to take it out on your pen. Ah, that was a pen. That is a, a pen fell out of your backpack yesterday, so I took it home for safekeeping, and I, uh, she just wrote this. Is that what, I really like the way it writes. So I wrote this poem with it, and now you're touching it. Ah ha ha, I'm okay. 
What did I just... Can we just pretend this never happened? You can keep the poem, though. You have unlocked a special poem. Would you like to read it? Oh, man, special poems. They give me a weird feeling in my... They give me a weird feeling. Uh, can I highlight this? No. Ow. Oh. Okay, well... Most of that was blacked out. I'll have to look at the letter some other time. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? Is this supposed to be... We have something... Could... We have something that we need to go over today, so if everyone could come sit at the front of the room. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. Ah! Whew. My chair almost fell over. I'm sorry about that. Ugh, I leaned over to the side and suddenly I had to catch myself. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple. Look, I know everyone's been a bit lo more lively ever since he joined and we've started with some club activities. But this isn't the time for us to become complacent. We only we still only have four members, and the festival is our re only real chance to find more, you know? What's so great about getting new members anyway? I mean, I have been wonderful. I don't care what you say. Even though there were five in the original version of the events. We already have enough to be considered an official club. Excuse me again. More members will mean everything gets noisier and more difficult to manage. Atsuki, I don't think you're looking at it the right way at all. Don't you want to share your passion with as many people as you can? To inspire them and find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? The Literature Club should be a place where people can express themselves like they can't do anywhere else. It should be a place to, so intimate that you never want to leave. Uh-huh. I know you feel that way, too. I know we all do. So that's why we should work hard and put something together for the festival, even if it's something small. Right? Ah. Well. Yeah. Oh, come on. You can't take advantage of him to agree with you just because he doesn't know how to say no to anything. Hey. Look, Monica. Do you really think any of us... Here, joined the club with other people in mind. Ooh, music cut out. Yuri never even talked to him until he joined, or not talked until he joined. As for me, I just like it better here than I do at home. He isn't even patch passionate about literature in the first place. And that's everyone. Sorry, but you're really the only one who's interested in finding new members. So the rest of us are fine like this. I know you're president and all, but you really should consider our opinions for once. Clearly taken aback by Natsuki's words. That's not true at all. Is that a tear on her eye? I'm sure that they want to get more members too, right? I don't know about Yuri, but I'm kind of indifferent. If I showed as much enthusiasm as Monica, then I would probably be lying. Still, it's up to me to rescue this situation. Um, no. Natsuki's right, isn't she? This club. It's nothing more than a place for a few people to hang out. Well, why did I think everyone here saw it the same way I did? That doesn't mean we're against getting new members or anything. Why did you even join? I got puppy dog eyed pressured into it, and I was off balance from the previous version of what had happened. What were you hoping to get out of it? Well, it's not really something I can be honest about, is it? In fact, if you remember, you weren't even given a choice not to join. Monica sits down and stares at her desk. Okay, I'm starting to feel a little bit bad about the accusations I was throwing at her earlier? 
What if starting this new club was a mistake? Now nah, you've done it, Natsuki. What, me? I spoke my mind. Is it a crime to be honest? It's not about being honest. It's about word choice. Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone else in the club like that. You don't understand at all. I just... I just want a place that feels nice to hang out with a few friends. Is there really a problem with being, the club being that for me? There aren't any other, or there aren't many other places like that for me. But now Monica wants to take it away from me. It's not taking anything away. No, it's not the same. It won't be the same with the direction she wants to take it. If I wanted that, then I could have joined just any other stupid club. But this one, I mean, at least for a little bit of time, things were nice. Natsuki starts packing up her things. I'm going home. I feel like I don't belong here right now. Oh man, Natsuki. Ignores Yuri and walks right out of the classroom. This is bad. I don't know what to do. This is bad. This isn't cool. I didn't... Of the four of them, Natsuki was my least favorite, but I still don't hate her. Do you have an opinion on the festival? I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. Who cares about that obnoxious brat? Uh huh. And what do we have going? This looks like this entire like section looks like a like the top half of a Pokemon battle screen. And I feel like like I should have a face over here, facing towards her, so we just see the back of their head. I mean, I like how nice it is, how nice and quiet it is in the club right now. And I'm just happy with you here. But still, I'm the vice president. It's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. Nobody, no, no, hey, hey, you stop it. <laughs> you right there. That's what you said yesterday, isn't it? 